We've been testing a variety of different crops to grow in veggie. Uh, we began with leafy greens, specifically this red romaine lettuce, which was selected because of its small size, um, its high growth rate, its excellent germination, and um, also the lettuce has very low natural microbial levels associated with it so it would be safe for the crew to eat. The astronauts harvested the lettuce that's been growing for 33 days and the harvest had two parts. First they harvested some leaves from each plant for consumption um, and they had a little bit of a, a celebration and then they harvested the rest of the plants for our science. So those plants were harvested into um, foil and frozen in the minus 80 freezer on ISS and they'll be returned to us to do analysis of that tissue. In terms of how safe the food is, we assessed that by first growing a set of lettuce in space and having it returned to Earth last year where we tested a number of different um, aspects of that crop. We looked at the food safety of that crop and we didn't find anything that led us to believe that it wouldn't be safe to eat. To grow enough food you know, to support the crew takes up a lot of, of volume in a spacecraft where, where volume is very expensive and it's limited. Um, you know, we're trying to grow highly productive plants and plants that are a very small stature and so we select crops that have a very high edible um, proportion of their yield. Uh, this is called the the harvest index, the proportion of the the edible biomass to the total biomass. For the first crew to Mars they're probably not going to have a lot of food processing or food preparation equipment and they may not even have cooking equipment. And that's how it is on the space station right now. They don't actually have an ability to cook any food up there. So all of the food that they're growing is what we call pick and eat. It has to be able to be eaten fresh. So we've been looking at lettuce, other leafy green vegetables, dwarf tomatoes, dwarf peppers, radish, um, potentially some herbs that can be picked and mixed in with a package diet. And we're even starting to look at small fruit crops. We've been testing some dwarf plum trees. But again, these are all things that can be eaten fresh. Once we are established on Mars and we have a long-term base, we may have more equipment to be able to process and cook food. And so then things like sweet potatoes or white potatoes or beans could easily be grown and used to provide food for the diet. So we're testing both types of scenarios, but for now we're concentrating on what could be cooked or what could be picked and eaten without cooking. So we've had a lot of feedback from different crew members who were on the space station during the first veggie test and also during the second test where they were allowed to eat the, the produce. Um, in the first test, I think the crew actually really wanted to eat the lettuce, but they were good. They sent it all back to us. But the, the consensus was that we need to be growing more vegetables in space station that they really want to grow things that they can eat more than ornamental crops um, and that this is something that, that the different astronauts really couldn't imagine going for longer or farther into space without, without having this little slice of earth there to remind them of home. They all really enjoyed the first harvest of lettuce. All the astronauts and cosmonauts were around watching and taking photographs and we had numerous comments and photos throughout the growth cycle um, about how much they enjoyed watching the plants grow and helping to mark the passage of time. In this grow out, again, we had a lot of really positive feedback from the crew. Um, basically, they were all there for the harvest except the Russian cosmonauts who were out on an extravehicular activity and the astronauts saved some of the lettuce for the cosmonauts to eat for when they finished their EVA, which was really wonderful. Um, when they ate the first batch of lettuce, their comments were, were very supportive and enthusiastic, and they seemed to really enjoy it. So that just made me feel wonderful that I was able to help be part of a team that could provide them with, with such a source of enjoyment. One thing we really hope is that the crew will be able to um, 
pick which types of plants that they want to grow in the future. So we're working to develop a, a crew garden mentality where they can select which crops that they'll want to grow and then eat them. So we have, you know, a lot of steps to get through to get there, but I uh, don't see any roadblocks in the way. Thank you.